Welcome to another exciting week at Starbase, where even national holidays can't slow down the rapid pace of innovation. This week's update brings you some of the most significant developments we've seen yet. From mysterious potential V2 booster components to major progress on the next evolution of Boca Chica's manufacturing capabilities. In our headline story, we're tracking what could be the next chapter in Starship's journey. Preparations for Flight 7, alongside intriguing developments at both Pad B and the groundbreaking new Giga Bay facility. We've captured exclusive footage of booster components moving through Mega Bay 1, including critical stacking operations for Booster 16's liquid oxygen tank, potentially setting the stage for Flight 9. But that's not all. We've also spotted something that's gotten the entire space community talking. What appears to be next-generation V2 booster parts emerging from the Star Factory. These developments, combined with the rapidly evolving infrastructure at Boca Chica, paint a picture of SpaceX's ambitious vision for the future of space exploration. Hello, I'm from Elon Musk 24 Hours, and today we'll take you behind the scenes of these transformative changes that are reshaping not just Starbase, but the future of space travel itself. Let's dive right in. As dawn breaks over the Texas coastline, Starbase pulses with an energy that defies the holiday lull. The story of this week unfolds like a carefully orchestrated symphony, each component playing its crucial part in SpaceX's grand vision. Deep within Mega Bay 1, where the future takes physical form, we witness a pivotal moment in Booster 16's creation. The newly arrived ring stand, gleaming under the bay's bright lights, represents more than just industrial equipment. It's the cradle that will support a beast of a liquid oxygen tank, capable of holding enough fuel to push humanity's dreams beyond Earth's atmosphere. As teams work with practiced precision, the stacking operation proceeds with an almost balletic grace, each movement calculated and purposeful. But this week's narrative takes an intriguing turn with the appearance of the four-point lifter, moving like a mechanical sentinel through the ring yard. This isn't merely a tool, it's a testament to SpaceX's evolutionary approach to rocket building. The same attachment points that will one day grasp the spacecraft during its dramatic landing now serve a crucial role in its birth. The lifter's presence near Mega Bay, two whispers promises of Ship 33's imminent assembly, the first of its kind, a harbinger of the next generation of space exploration. The Star Factory stands as a monument to human ingenuity its newly completed office connection bridging the gap between dream and reality. Within its cavernous interior, a scene of organized chaos unfolds. Workers move with purpose among components that will soon soar through the stratosphere. A barrel section takes shape, its curves reflecting the overhead lights like a metallic sculpture. Nearby, nose cones at various stages of completion tell their own stories of transformation. One particularly catches our eye its thermal protection system tiles arranged in an intricate pattern that will one day shield it from the fierce heat of atmospheric re-entry. In a poignant contrast, Ship 26 makes its final journey to the Sanchez area. There's a certain nobility in its dismantling. Each piece removed contributes to the learning that will make future ships stronger, better, more capable of achieving their celestial goals. As its nose cone travels to its final destination, we're reminded that progress often requires letting go of the past to embrace the future. Meanwhile, Booster 12 commands attention, its historic achievement of returning from space's edge etched into Starbase's legacy. Engineers swarm around it like careful physicians, their inspection more than routine maintenance. It's a crucial investigation into the effects of its groundbreaking journey. Every scratch, every stress point, tells a story that will influence the design of future generations of rockets. The plot thickens with the emergence of mysterious hardware from the Star Factory. Speculation runs rampant about this potential V2 booster component. Its appearance marks a potential turning point in SpaceX's relentless march toward reusability. The component's design hints at radical improvements in landing capabilities, though its true purpose remains shrouded in technical secrecy. At Pad B, a spectacular transformation is underway. The assembly of the LR-1000 crane unfolds like a massive mechanical ballet. Each counterweight placement, every connection made, brings us closer to the realization of SpaceX's ambitious plans. The crane's massive hook, now fully assembled, 
stands ready to lift the future into place. This younger sibling to the legendary CC8800D1 represents not just construction capability, but the physical manifestation of SpaceX's scaling ambitions. The infrastructure developments tell their own compelling story. New pipes, conspicuous in their lack of insulation, snake their way through the site. Their destination and purpose spark debate among observers, but their presence clearly signals the expansion of Starbase's capabilities. These aren't mere utilities. They're the arteries that will sustain the next generation of launch operations. A fascinating subplot develops at Pad A, where the chopsticks undergo their own evolution. New antennas appear like technological barnacles on the right chopstick, their presence suggesting improvements to the critical communication systems that failed during the last catch attempt. In a mesmerizing display of precision engineering, the chopsticks perform their choreographed ascent, reaching skyward in preparation for future catches. This isn't just testing, it's rehearsal for a crucial performance in humanity's greatest space opera. Beneath the orbital launch mount, sparks fly in the night as workers modify the booster quick disconnect. Each weld, each adjustment, brings us closer to the January 11th launch target. The dedication of these teams, working through darkness to perfect every connection, embodies the relentless spirit that drives Starbase forward. The Gigabase story emerges as perhaps the most ambitious chapter yet in Starbase's evolution. This isn't just another facility, it's SpaceX's answer to the challenge of building increasingly massive spacecraft. With future V3 starships stretching nearly 70 meters tall and boosters reaching beyond 80 meters, the Giga Bay represents a quantum leap in manufacturing capability. Its construction will reshape not just the Starbase skyline, but the very possibilities of what we can build on Earth to explore the cosmos. In an endearing moment of whimsy amidst the technical intensity, a Woody from Toy Story Pinata appears, suspended more than 10 meters high beneath the orbital launch mount. This unexpected touch of playfulness reminds us that even in the serious business of rocket science, there's room for joy and human spirit. The ship quick disconnect arm undergoes its own transformation, teams working at dizzying heights to modify its systems for compatibility with Ship 33. Every adjustment, every modification represents another step toward a future where space travel becomes as routine as air travel is today. The precision required at these heights, where the margin for error is measured in millimeters, showcases the extraordinary skill of the Starbase teams. As we observe these remarkable developments, a clear picture emerges of Starbase's trajectory. This isn't just a collection of construction projects and technical modifications. It's the physical manifestation of humanity's greatest adventure, taking shape before our eyes. Each component, each test, each modification brings us closer to a future where the stars themselves are within our reach. The dedication of the teams working through holidays, the innovative solutions to complex challenges, and the relentless push toward greater capabilities all tell a story of human ingenuity and determination that continues to inspire and amaze. As we reflect on these remarkable developments at Starbase, one thing becomes crystal clear. The future of space exploration is not just a distant dream, it's being built right here, right now. The potential Gigabay facility represents more than just another expansion. It symbolizes SpaceX's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight manufacturing. With each advancement, from the sophisticated modifications to the ship quick disconnect arm to the mysterious V2 booster components emerging from the Star Factory, we're witnessing the evolution of humanity's greatest adventure. The upcoming Flight 7, targeted for January 11th, promises to be another pivotal moment in this extraordinary journey. The teams at Starbase, working tirelessly through holidays and long nights, remind us that every breakthrough in space exploration is built on dedication, innovation, and an unshakable belief in the possible. As Starship continues to evolve, from its current form to the ambitious V3 specifications, we're not just watching history unfold, we're seeing the future take shape before our eyes. If you've been inspired by today's developments at Starbase, join our growing community of space enthusiasts by subscribing to Elon Musk 24 Hours.
Hit that like button if you're excited about the future of space exploration and share your thoughts about these incredible developments in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who share our passion for the final frontier. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you the latest in space innovation. Until next time, keep looking up. The stars are getting closer every day. In the aftermath of SpaceX's historic Flight 5, a stunning revelation emerged. While millions watched in awe as Super Heavy gracefully descended toward the launch tower, behind the scenes, engineers were holding their breath. The seemingly flawless catch that made headlines worldwide was, in fact, hanging by a thread. During a recent meeting, SpaceX engineers disclosed to Elon Musk that the massive booster came within one second, just one second, of triggering an abort sequence that would have sent it crashing into the ground. But that's not all. A critical protective cover had torn away during descent, exposing vital components essential for landing. These never-before-revealed details paint a picture of just how razor-thin the margins were between triumph and potential disaster. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours where today we'll uncover the dramatic story behind Mechazilla's catching system, the hidden challenges that nearly derailed Flight 5, and how SpaceX plans to perfect this groundbreaking maneuver for Flight 6. Let's dive right in. In a tense emergency meeting that lasted through the night after Flight 5's landing, engineers huddled around screens analyzing telemetry data. The readings were unlike anything we'd seen in simulations, revealed Dr. James Mitchell. SpaceX's lead propulsion engineer. Multiple team members reported seeing their hands shake as they watched the pressure readings fluctuate wildly during those final seconds of descent. For flight director Sarah Chen, who had been with the program since its inception, this was more than just a technical challenge. We put five years of our lives into this project, she shared, her voice tight with emotion. Watching those abort parameters flash red, knowing we were seconds away from losing everything, those were the longest moments of my career. Let's break down what really happened during those crucial moments of Flight 5. According to the recently leaked engineering discussion, the heart of the issue lay in the Raptor engine's spin pressure system, a critical component that manages propellant flow during landing. Think of it as the engine's circulatory system. If it fails, the consequences could be catastrophic. The spin pressure system normally maintains a steady 32.4 bar during descent, but during Flight 5, it oscillated between 28.7 and 35.2 bar, a variation that would typically trigger an immediate abort. The fact that the system's fail-safes didn't activate has led to a complete review of the pressure monitoring algorithms. One of the lead engineers speaking in a recorded meeting with Elon Musk revealed that a misconfigured parameter in this system nearly triggered what they call a false positive abort. The data wasn't matching our expected values, the engineer explained, and our automated systems came within one second of forcing the booster to divert from the catch attempt. But here's where it gets even more intense. The abort sequence wouldn't just have meant a missed catch. It would have deliberately directed the massive super heavy booster to crash into a designated safety zone near the launch tower. Picture that a 230-foot rocket packed with residual propellant being forced to impact the ground when there was actually nothing wrong with it. Each Starship booster represents an investment of over $90 million. A crash would not only mean losing the hardware, it could potentially delay the entire lunar program by months, putting billions in NASA contracts at risk. The root of this near miss traces back to SpaceX's ambitious new landing protocols. The team had implemented over 100 new abort criteria for Flight 5, each designed to enhance safety, but also increasing the complexity of the landing sequence. As one engineer noted in the recording,